So as many of you may know, uh, my roommate is Max Tuning. My brother is Max Tuning. And uh, he has a clothing line, Everford Apparel, and it's a launch day. And this is what I come home to today. Just EF swag, Irwear. And uh, apparently a photo shoot of some sort. Yeah. Hey guys, so I'm just getting back from the IDEA 2016 Personal Trainer Institute Conference, East Coast Edition. Now, this year it was held in DC, well, technically Alexandria, but at uh, a local hotel and conference center very close to the DC line. Um, I only went for the one day event. Now this was a three day conference. It was technically three and a half, but like Thursday night they had an event. Then all day Friday, all day Saturday, all day Sunday. Uh, a lot of different workshops, uh, things of exercise and things to get you really moving and grooving, but also some just key leaders, movers and shakers in the industry right now who are on top of their game and on top of a lot of studies and on top of a lot of things in the market in health, wellness, physical fitness, diet, exercise. This is probably my third or fourth conference of that style that I've gone to. This is my first idea conference, mind focus. Mm my first idea focus. Uh, I really liked it as far as what they had topics wise. The first one I went to was all about strategic coaching in terms of effective communication skills. Uh, and then I had a hands-on workshop with Trigger Point. They make up a lot of foam rollers and myofascial release devices. Uh, a workshop on really learning more about the technique of foam rolling. And then I had one on multiple ways, effective ways to take what you're doing currently in your business and streamlining it to incorporate more multiple revenues of income. So that was very cool, learning from a lot of other entrepreneurs. And then the last one is probably my favorite one because it is so applicable to what I'm doing right now and what I want to do moving forward in the health coaching training world. And that is from a very, very, very super smart guy who has about every single credential after his name you could ever think of, a guy named Fabio, Damn it, I left my stuff in the car, but basically it's uh, this NASM guy, Fabio, this British guy, Fabio Cremana, I wanna say. Anyway, um, the dude has like 18,000 degrees and certifications, but uh, he talked all about applying current technology, current wearables, as it's called, apps, devices, phones, uh, smart watches, bands, implants, a lot of different things that are currently being used that have been developed and that is not even out on the market yet. Some things that are in production as far as ways to better track, manage and coach your clients, yourself. And it's just really the big takeaway message I got from today was to always, no matter how well you think, uh, you know, your craft, your trade, your profession, you don't know shit. <laughs> There's always someone out there applying more, seeking more, asking different questions than you. And so always go into these types of situations with an open mind. Uh, I've never walked away from any conference feeling like my money was a waste or I didn't learn something significant that I cannot immediately apply. Now I'm in the health and wellness and fitness, whatever you want to call it, industry. And so there are so many different conferences for so many different professions. So I highly recommend whatever you do, if you're a nurse, if you're a doctor, if you're a lawyer, if you're in business, if you're in import export, if you're a freaking blacksmith, whatever you do, find an organization, find an event, find a conference, find a freaking gathering in the basement of a church of like-minded people who you can bounce ideas off of, who you can listen to the questions that they ask and possibly have a answer pool for questions you have. You may not even know you have questions, but until you hear things that are being said, things are being done, you are going to just stay stagnant. And so I've really been focusing lately in my life to stop idling in a few different areas. And that was really a big motivation for me to drop this couple hundred bucks on this conference to go do it, um, to just learn more things, apply myself and to seek something out that I could immediately live immediately apply. So uh, a little bit of uh, some elder advice for you. So whatever you're doing, I don't care how well you think you're doing it, there is at least one way that you can learn how to do it better.
Well, gang, this footage may not make sense <laughs> because I just realized did a little playback test and the top part of the microphone was not plugged in. So I got a bunch of video, but no audio. Basically, what you missed out on was I drove over here to the VA hospital in DC, had to get new molds made of my feet because it is, every year I get custom orthotics made for my feet because your boy's got jacked up feet. Um, so now this experience was not as pleasant as the past two or three I've had up here. I thought this VA had its crap together more than the Richmond one, but I waited like 45 minutes for my appointment up here before they even saw me uh, and just a lot of drama in the background. But that's neither here nor there. So in like the next four to six weeks, I will get my new orthotic inserts mailed out to me. If they're all a go, then I get uh, another pair because two per better than one. And ah, so now I've got less than an hour to drive all the way through DC over to the other side to get to campus at American University for class at 5.30. And I'm hangry and I'm, I, have, I have minimal snacks. Ah! All right, let's get to school. Well, another day of class is over. It's about 7.55 and uh, time to go home. So I'm uh, whipping up some dinner for me and Boo thing. I think my battery's gonna run out, but I'm gonna try to show you guys one of my favorite staple dishes. Some chicken thighs, some sauteed mushrooms, and some roasted baby red potatoes. I'm gonna tell you my secret recipe for really, really good mushrooms is nothing more than two parts Worcestershire and one part your red wine of choice or a good red wine vinegar. What I do for the red potatoes, got wine on my hands. <laughs> what I do for the red potatoes is boil them for a few minutes to get them soft, put them in a pan with some olive oil on the bottom and then uh, some garlic salt and a little bit of cracked peppercorn go on top, bake it at 400 for about five to seven minutes until the browning on the edges shows up. Uh, and what I'm doing for the chicken is I got to saute in a little bit of some butter and then, where'd you go? Montreal chicken steak flavoring, maybe, yes, no, something like that, uh, and some lemon juice. And then for, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna wrap up the cooking. I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> 